Crackdown came out in 2007, and boy, is it terrible. I mean, it's no Super Smash Bros. Melee, but it's still really, really bad. What's the story? What's the point? Am I even qualified to look at video games and present them in a constructive way? You would think by my level of self-awareness, the answer would be yes, but sadly, that's not the case. And now you'll have to endure a piss poor retrospective on a game you've already forgotten. This looks like someone colored Grand Theft Auto San Andreas with a coat of sloppy Wind Waker paint. Or should I say, Microsoft paint. We're talking fail shaded graphics. This is 2016. If we're not looking realistic with VR capability, then why am I wasting my time? Microsoft, you're giving me a 30% probability of success against this gang leader? Look, look, ooh, Microsoft, learn statistics. What's my probability on this one? Your chances look good enough to me, agent. Okay, okay, 90. Does this really look like 90% to anyone? But if I wanna be my best, I have to play the game, and I mean really play it. Okay, a lot of you guys are probably thinking this right now. Luke, why do you gotta be so harsh? Guys, I'm not being negative. It's called being constructive. <laughs> I mean, there's really not much to say about this game. This game does a lot of things wrong, like jumping too high, shooting too far, and feeling way too excited to play it. I don't wanna be excited. I wanna feel like I'm experiencing something. Take me on a glorious journey, like that one game, Journey. No one knows what it's about, but oh, the emotion, the feelings, the innovation, the cultivation of innovation in this creative creation. Which is why I give Journey for the PS2 a 10 out of 10. Welcome to Now You Believe It, Now You Don't. The only show on the internet to lob wild and furious speculation in a factual configuration. Whoops. More like rational accusations. But have you ever wondered about Nintendo's?